Alright, let's have some examples. Step number one. Example number one. Okay, find the 30th term of an arithmetic sequence with first term or a sub 1 equals 3 and d equals 2. D is your common difference. For this case, ano lang to, direct substitution to the formula natin. Remember, the nth term, we use the symbol a sub n for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. It's equivalent to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Yung d natin kanina dito sa unahan, pero okay lang din nandito siya sa likudan. Okay? So, ang gawin din, substitute lang muna natin. Your n here is 30 because that's what we're looking for. We're going we're looking for that 30th term. So, ang pagsinulat mo yun is a sub, a sub 30. So, kung a sub 30 yun, ibig sabihin, your n is 30. Your a sub 1 is 3. Your n is 30 minus 1 times d, which is 2 times 2. So, we have 3 plus 30 minus 1, that's 29 times 2. So, we'll have 3 plus 29 times 2. That is, ano 29 times 2? 58. Okay, good. 58. 58. So, therefore, that's equivalent to 58 plus 3, which is 61. Okay. So, therefore, your 30th term is 61. Let's have example number Okay, find the 25th term of the arithmetic progression. So, sabi ko sa inyo, pwedeng AS, pwedeng AP. 3, 7, 11. Ito lang yung kanina. 3, 7, 11. Ano sunod dyan? Uh, 15. What's next? 19. What's next? 23 and so on. So, in this case, we're looking for the 25th term. So, hinahanap natin ay A sub. We're looking for A sub 25. That's what we're looking for. And we have A sub 1. First term of 3. Common difference of 7 minus 3. That's 4. And uh, your N is 25. So, that's what we're looking for. A sub 25. So, again, the formula for the n term, a sub n, is a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Your a sub n is a sub 25. a sub 1 is 3. And then we'll, we'll have 25 minus 1 times 4. We'll have 3 plus 24 times 4. And 3 plus. So, ito muna ang ating multiply. 24 times 4 is 96. 96 ba? Yeah, 96. So, 96 plus 3 is 99. So, your 25th term is 99. Oh. Uh, kapag ginagamit mo itong mga videos na to. Pagkapag nagbigay na ako ng example, i-pause mo muna, tapos ikaw muna yung magsagot bago mo i-play para uh, tingnan mo muna kung kaya mong sagutan na mag-isa. Tapos saka may verify kapag uh, nasagutan mo na. Saka mo ulit i-play. So I think uh, we can have another example. Let's have example number 3. If the second term of an arithmetic sequence is 7 and the fourth term is 1, what is the first and the fifteenth term? So we're looking for the first and the fifteenth term. So we're looking for a sub 1 and a sub 15. Again, pause the video. 
Subukan nyo muna. Pag nasubukan nyo na, saka nyo i-play ulit. So, oh, okay. So, medyo kakaiba to ha. Kasi ang given sa natin second term. So, A sub 2 is 7. And the fourth term, A sub 4, is 1. So, sino daw si yung first term at ano daw yung 15th term? So, kapag isulat natin to, uh, wala tayong first term. Pero meron tayong second term na 7. Hindi natin alam ang third term. Pero meron tayong fourth term na 1. Okay. So, this is your A sub 2. And this is your A sub 4. Hmm. Wala tayong first. Wala din tayong third. Meron lang tayo ay second at saka fourth. So, mula dun sa second at fourth na 7-1, mukhang pababa yung ating sequence. Hindi pala mukhang pababa, pababa talaga yung sequence. So, to get A sub 1, anong pwede natin gawin? Okay. Madaming method sa pag-solve nitong gantong type ng problem. So, I'll show you one. Pwede natin gawin na gamitin natin yung formula ng A sub n, yung n term natin, which is A sub n equals A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d ng dalawang beses. So, magsisystem tayo dito. Gamitin natin si A sub 2 at saka si A sub 4. Gusto nyo ba itry yon? Sige, try muna natin yon. So, using A sub 2, we'll have A sub 1 plus 2 minus 1 times D. Mm -hmm. Okay ba yun? A sub 2. So, this will become 7 is equivalent to... Pwede mi bawa pa ito. Oops, wala na pala. 7. Mm -hmm. A sub 1. Wala A sub 1. Plus, this is 2 minus 1. That's 1 times D. So, D lang siya. So, we'll have 7 A sub 1 plus D. So, let's get another 1. So, this is... Let's call this equation 1. Okay, equation 1. Now, using A sub 4, which is A sub 1 plus mm, 4 minus 1 times D, we'll get 1 equals a sub 1 plus 3d. So, let's call this equation 2. So, we have equation 1, equation 2. We can solve for d muna by subtracting 1 from 2 or 2 from 1. So, let's subtract 1, equation 1 minus equation 2. So, sulat lang natin ito, ah. 7... Pahirap mag-work ng naka sa baba, no? Sige, ganda ko na nga muna. 7, what's this? 7. Don't don't worry, sa next video, hahabaan ko na itong picture na to. <laughs> 7 equals A sub 1 plus D minus, ima-minus natin yung ito. So, sige, magiging plus na to, no? Kasi minus to. So, minus negative 1, let's go negative 1 equals minus a sub 1 minus 3d so i-add lang natin siya pababa so we'll get 6 cancel ng a sub 1 we'll have negative 2d and then to solve for d we can divide everything by negative 2 and then we'll have d is equivalent to negative 3 yun negative 3 na we already have your common different na negative 3 so, we have blank, we have a blank, and then a 7, then a blank again, and then a 1. So, we have a common difference of negative 3, so we can already get a sub 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 minus 3, or plus negative 3, it's 1. Now, para bumalik dito sa a sub 1, to get a sub 1. So, instead of, tama you will add negative 3. So, para bumalik ka dito, you'll have to subtract negative 3. And, subtracting negative 3, 7 minus negative 3, so, ibig sabihin, magiging plus na yon, plus 3. 
So we'll get 10. So 10 is our first term. 10 plus negative 3, that's 7. Plus negative 3, that's 4. Plus negative 3, that's 1. Now, so okay na tayo sa a sub 1. So we'll get a sub 15. a sub 15 using the formula a sub 1 plus 15 minus 1 times d. And our d is negative 3. So, burahin ko na ito. Negative 3 nga pala. So, we'll use negative 3. So, we'll have a sub 15 is equivalent to a sub 1 is 10 plus 14 times negative 3. So, we'll have 10. Oh, what's this? Negative, mm -hmm. negative 42. Tama ba? Negative 42. Tama, negative 42. 10 minus 42, that's negative 32. So your 15th term is negative, negative 32. Ngayon, ano yung isang technique? Dito na lang ha. Promise talaga, papalawakin ko na tong picture na to para mahaba yung ating susulatan. So, ano yung isa pang way para masolve to? Remember, ang given lang sa atin ay ito, tsaka ito. This is a sub 2 at saka a sub 4. Ang gagawin natin, imove natin silang dalawa parehas pabalik. Pabalik. So, a sub 2 now becomes a sub 1. a sub 2 now becomes a sub 1. Ay, hindi kita. A sub 2 now becomes A sub 1. And A sub 4, since na-move to ng isa, magiging A sub 3 na to. Okay. So, ang A sub 1 muna natin ay 7. At ang A sub 3 muna natin ay A sub ay 1. Remember, ibabalik natin to. Ha? So, your A sub 3 is 1. And A sub 1 muna ay 7. Using the formula again, a sub 3 is a sub 1 plus 3 minus 1 times d. Kasi gagamitin natin yung third term at yung first term. May first term na tayo. a sub 3 is 1. a sub 1 is 7 plus 2d. Mm -hmm. So, subtract negative 7. Or pwedeng i-transpose mo sa kabila. We'll get negative 6 equals 2d divide everything by 2 and d now is negative 3 nakamukha lang din nito yan so dahil meron ka ng common difference babalik ka na ngayon dito sa ginawa natin okay, balik ka na ngayon dito so this is another method pwede nyo gawin to uh, be careful lang kasi baka malimutan mo nang ibalik okay so that's it.